Hey guys, since posting two videos at once, I've kind of slowed down on uploads, and today's video is why. You know how I'm a monitor fanatic? My desktop PC has four displays, the living room has two TVs, and even my hardware desk has a monitor on it. Well, today I'm going to introduce my fifth monitor, which is a little more fancy than the rest. Meet Project Smart Frame. Remember that old fad back in 2007 when everyone was still using physical cameras instead of just their phones? When people had years and years worth of photos on these tiny little easy to lose SD cards? I lost a 120 gig SD card once. That was $50 down the drain. Anyway, during that time you probably have seen a lot of these. Digital photo frames. These notorious 7 inch little guys were everywhere except in people's actual homes. Businesses had them advertising things, stores used them in product demo booths, and even the iPad had a button that turned it into one, right on the lock screen. That was kinda random. Despite being somewhat expensive for what you got, digital photo frames are pretty nice pieces of hardware, even if they are extinct. Meet my Sony S-Frame DPF D70 that's been sitting in a shelf for months. This little guy has a 7-inch 720p display, surprisingly not garbage software, a remote, a built-in clock that I actually used for quite a while, and an orientation sensor. Well, that was a little ahead of its time. Although it's dated, this thing is a pretty nice piece of kit. And since I have an obscene obsession for monitor hoarding, and an even more obscene addiction to Internet of Things tech, I figured this device could be the perfect combination of both. So here we go. Monitor number 5. I used my Raspberry Pi 0W and a Python program that's up on my GitHub to generate a nicely formatted JPEG filled with loads of information including the time, date, status of my Chromecast and Google Home speakers, storage usage on my file server, status of my lights, and even messages from you guys. Yep, that's right, with the power of the internet, I've set a website that you guys can go to and put whatever message you want on my photo frame. Right there, on my desk in front of me. Will I regret this decision? Probably. The photo frame has 250 megabytes of internal storage, and with the help of this hella janky hacked mini USB to micro USB and a wire and a resistor hooked up to my Raspberry Pi's GPIO pin, I can power up the photo frame's USB port when I want to update the image on it, about once every 30 seconds, and then turn off the direct power to the USB port to trick it into thinking it's unplugged which will then cause the photo frame to display the image. I ended up powering the photo frame directly from the Raspberry Pi, which normally is an extremely stupid idea since I have no idea how much power the frame draws. However, I like stupid ideas, and apparently using a transistor and doing it the proper way doesn't work, so this is what I did. The Raspberry Pi then sits behind my desk and is powered by just a random 5 watt power adapter, and then the photo frame is hung up behind my microphone. And here we go! This is what my photo frame looks like fully filled up with info, and with the power of Python, and maybe a slightly better interface, this thing could be more capable than an Amazon Echo Show. Now really, can your Echo Show tell you your CPU and GPU temps, storage usage, and let you know when your piss poor internet connection finally finishes uploading your latest YouTube videos? Mine can, and I don't even have to say the word Alexa. Technology's cool. Thanks for watching this video. It really means a lot to me that you watched all the way to the end and got to see what I've been up to during the past few weeks. If you liked what you saw, make sure to give this video a like because, you know, you liked it. <laughs> if you want to see me do more random things to my gadgets, make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on. I'm always up to something weird and quirky. Remember that you can go ahead and send me as many dumb messages as you want to my smart frame. It's completely anonymous and you'll be sure to make me smile. If you want to actually talk slash hang out with me, you can join my Discord server. I'm pretty active there if you want to ask any questions, and I also do some exclusive gaming, editing, and drawing streams up there. You can also follow my Instagram, at RatatMC, if getting pinged whenever I do something interesting isn't your fancy. And until next time, keep innovating, and of course, keep climbing.